Hello everybody, this is Y Rock here. I just wanted to record this while I'm going through some patches, so hopefully you don't get too bored and uh, hopefully it's not doing some popping sounds um, through my audio, but I, I have uh, Ableton up here at the same time, so maybe I'll record some sounds once I, once I find them. Let's see. Um, I think something's automatically uh, hitting this one by itself. turn that down a little bit and so we got a trigger we're gonna trigger the pitches okay I think we change this around so I'm getting it kind of stuck in one place I should have there's a bunch of wires here and of course and uh, here's um the pitch CV. I'm going to send that to this Dixie. Okay, and then that one has a sign coming out of it. Here's the sign. So let's get some bass out of that one, out of the sign. So, oh. Yeah, that's, that's nice and smooth um, and then there's the dofer VCO I should add some movement to that one maybe I'm gonna try to use this disting and see if they disting it will has like an LFO thing So there's an LFO thing from the disdain, but I think that you can also trigger the disdain to, yeah, it's changing its LFO, the pattern, because I'm sending an LFO into that, and that's pretty cool. See how it speeds up, slows down? That's cool. Okay, so there's that. Let's match this one the base so maybe I should tune that I mean, tune it while I'm at it because if I don't tune it to Ableton then when I'm going to record it, it's going to be we need it to be in tune Some more pain. okay well because I was thinking let's get this other tone so I can actually hear the bass Oh, here it is. Never mind. A little, another uh, triangle or saw or something from this Dixie. And then I have a mixer over here so I can mix each one in separate. Oh, easy. F, okay. So this would be the low F. Let's tune that low F as low as I can get it. Come on, bass. Now I can bring in the Dofer VCO. And match that kind of. Alright, so now let's do some filter action, you know? I don't know why it is. So now we're going to the filter. Let's do this. So let's try to trigger the filter with the disting too, for that disting. To trigger this filter action, see what craziness we can get going. But it's only just for the dofer. There we go. Wow, create some random stuff. So the fat sign. All right, let's blend in some of the dog barking. Now let's blend in some of the craziness. Let's turn that. Sway action going on with that. So what I'm doing here is recording one note at a time. <clears throat> but I'm gonna turn it up so I can get a better signal. Look at the waves on that thing. 
Okay, let me turn it up a little bit more here. Make sure it's... Hopefully that pop was part of the recording. So I'm holding it down. Now let's go an octave up. At the very least, uh, record one of each octave, and then when you put it in the sampler, you get a little. You're not spreading out one note too much. <clears throat> but it's you're never going to really replicate the changing within this structure each time you change the note on the uh, just like a half step Hold on. it's like Morse code all of a sudden code. I don't know which I'm going to use for that, but I have enough uh, recordings for that sound to work with. And um, so let's go ahead and chop it up and see if that makes this video cool. Let's make an instrument. So let's uh, chop this up. Okay, I got this recording, right? Let's drop a sampler in. Let's take the wave that we have, and let's just drop this, the whole recording we have of all these different notes into the sampler here. And how many notes we have, uh, I mean, octaves. So we have first, our low, um, our low F. So this is gonna be, uh, the root note is gonna be an F. And, um, but first let's copy these all, and we're gonna, I don't know how many oct uh, octaves did I, did I do? Four. So let's duplicate this. Four, and then let's right click here and um, distribute ranges equally. So then it kind of gets us ready for what note we're going to use. Let's see what that says. So this is where we're taking advantage of the low fatness of this one. And then it's going to keep going through this, all, um, through the scale all the way up to the next octave I recorded. <clears throat> there it is. And then this one is gonna take over right there. And so we'll slide this, Alt here. Alt, slide that to the F, because this is the next octave up. And I recorded it, but you gotta set this to be grabbing that next oct octave up sample. Has anyone ever showed anyone this stuff? I don't even know if you're gonna be able to find this video at this point. Okay, so. So we got a low fatness. There we go, that one takes over right there. This is just simplified, and so the next octave up is, comes pretty quick. To E, I mean, that's not E, but okay. So here, this one's gonna be the take over the next one. And let's slide that over to this sample. You just gotta follow me, guys. Um, pause and rewind or whatever. Whatever you gotta do to make it happen. And then now I'm gonna slide this sample over because it's the highest octave, and that'll take over the rest. This is the lowest octave, but really it's not gonna sound the best down here because I didn't really actually put actual notes recorded that were that low. So it starts sounding good right where the real one comes in. And uh, it's kind of quiet, so let's go to filter. Uh, not filter, but just the global settings. Put the volume here. Yeah, there you go. Whoa! Fat and it's moving. And let's let that ring out a little bit. And now let me go to this last one and make sure I did that correctly. And last sample and make sure I'm on the last highest octave that I recorded. Sorry, it's getting loud.
loud. Okay. Yeah, and that one, I took off the movement because if you go up there, I mean, let get the movement, this sample. It was just so much, I don't know, so messed up, kind of like a Morse code, and I was trying to fix it, but it never happened. Um, but let's make a, the attack be a little slower. Okay, and um, so it rings out, right? And, you know, even playing the chords. It's got some grime in there, you know, but if you're adding a filter... Uh, Take off the highs a little bit. I mean, you want the grime so it comes through the mix. Anyways, I think you've had enough, and um, hopefully this has explained a little bit of creating your own instrument using the um, sampler and multi-sample wise. It's not just dropping one one note and transposing that the whole way through. And by the way, on there is something to make your quality better. I think it's hitting this R right here. But I think the R was already gone. So that's when it's stretching the pitch. But we're using four different octaves and using those. And so we're not stretching one octave too much. And it makes it sound cleaner. And I like it better. Have a good one. Sub subscribe and like my videos because it really is inspiring. And it helps uh, you know, lift me up and keep some videos going and producing more free content. Free Ableton Live sound packs. Have a good one. Peace out. Later.